Alrighty, hello everybody and welcome to some more Stormworks build and rescue. Uh, let's see, the last few videos I have been posting have been of me working on my nuclear heavy salvage ship. I am in the process of designing the touchscreens and getting those working, so I thought, you know what, since I'm going through that and I'm teaching myself Lua, and I may as well put out a quick little video about how all that works. So, what do we need? I just made an example here. This is just a, a whatever, just a mat you could call it, right? So we need a battery here. We need a battery. We need a monitor. Oops. We need, let's get a, uh, let's get a, oh, for now, we'll just go with a one by one monitor. All right. For this example. Uh, and then we'll use another monitor also. I'm going to do two. I'm going to do a touch screen with buttons and then I'll do a screen that has the map on it. And this is just for people who are wondering how do I get a map and how do I edit it and how do I do that uh, kind of stuff. Okay, so then we need a button to turn on the screen. All right, then we'll connect those together. And we'll do that. All right, so that's step number one. Step number two, we need a microcontroller. Now, what is a microcontroller? If you click on this microcontroller editor, it comes up with this screen and it has a two by two thing. That is your microcontroller. So we want to name it. I'm just going to name this one blank. Uh, let's see, two by two. You can change the size, make it wider, make it longer if you want. Description, uh, we'll just say blank two by two. And then if you want to say save and we could say new and we'll just say blank two by two. All right. If you exit this and you uh, go hit tab and you go search, type in blank. There is our blank two by two microcontroller. Now what I like to do is place the microcontroller, then go into the microcontroller, edit it. Now from here, if you do any of the revisions and you click update, it will update that microcontroller. You don't have to replant it. You don't have to do anything. All right, so let's get started. So the first thing we want, click on logic. We're going to need two nodes. One is going to be a composite and one is going to be a video composite in and video out, right? So this is going to be in from TV and this is going to go out to TV just like that. All right. And we can update this and then we're going to click on this logic. We're going to click on our video, connect the video to the television. And then we're going to click on our composite and we want to click the composite from the TV back to here. And what that composite is, is it's a touch output that will allow us to interact with the TV like a touch screen. So now what we want to do is we want to go into logic. We have our out to the TV. We have our in from the TV. Then what we want is we want a composite right. Uh, in this case, it's going to be on off. Oh, we don't actually want this one. We want the individual. We want to go composite read on off. All right. So depending on how many channels you're going to have in your uh, touch screen, I tend to use five. But for this example, we're going to we're going to use we're going to make two buttons here. All right. We're going to make two buttons here and here, just like that. But we're not going to run those directly. We're going to say, wait, we're missing something. What are we missing? Well, now we need this fancy thing. This is called a Lua block. All right. Composite in from the TV into the Lua block. Composite out from the Lua block where we read Let's say channel one, and this could be channel two. And then we have our video output. Uh, yeah, I think that's right. That's right. I think that's right. Then we can update that. All right, before I get into it, before, you know what? Let's, let's, uh, let's double down here. Let's double down here. Before I get into that, let me see if I have another. Yeah, this one here. Let's just go in here and make sure I've got that. Yep. Okay. Perfect. 
perfect. Uh, did I save that blank that we just created? I did not. All right, so we're gonna have to do that all over again, man. No problem. Get a battery for the TV. Get a toggle button for the TV. We're gonna get two monitors this time. We're gonna get a one by one monitor, which is gonna be our touch screen. And we're gonna get a two by two monitor, which is gonna be our map. And then that way I'll just do both at the same time. Then we also need our, uh, our blank microcontroller right here. Okay, we'll connect that all together. So I'll take the battery, TVs. All right, then we're gonna go back into the microcontroller. <laughs> ah, and we're into logic. We wanna create two nodes. One is gonna be a composite. One is gonna be a video. Okay, video out, composite in, in, from TV, whoops, uh, in from TV, okay, out to TV. Now we have two. So this is gonna be our touch screen. We'll have a separate one. Uh, we can do this uh, video here. This can go output and we'll say out to map. Out to map, all right? Then we're gonna come into our logic. <clears throat> we're not gonna worry about the map for now. All right, so. We're gonna take a Lua block. We're gonna plant it down. We're gonna connect our composite into the Lua block. We're gonna connect our video out to the TV. And then we're also going to take some composite read on off. In this case, we'll take two because we're gonna be creating two buttons, right? And then we will determine the channels. I think I start on channel five. Why, I don't know. And then this one will be channel six. It just happens to be the all right, so we go into the Lua block and we have this screen. This is our script. We have 4,000 characters that we can write in here. So each one of these is a character and that counts towards our, our total. So you can't go too crazy, but you can chain Lua blocks together. So for example, if you wanted to make a fish tank for your, this is how you would do it, right? You would make a fish maybe on one Lua block and then you have another little block, which would be the water effects and stuff like that. You chain them all together and that's how you can get that sort of thing on a screen if you can't compress it, right? So we have two sections here. We have on tick and on draw. On tick, what does that do? Well, every logic tick, it reads the Lua block and it will read the inputs and then it will draw them onto the, the screen. Pretty much simple as that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete uh, this section here, and I'm also gonna delete this section here. So now what I've done is uh, I've printed out the touchscreen code that I have, and we are gonna go through that. So under function, this is where we want our inputs for the touchscreen. Uh, now, if we go into help, as you can see, we have input one and input two. In this case, we are looking for input X. Oh, is that the... Yeah, we need input X and input Y. And we need that for, there's a special function there. Where is it? Is, is press. Uh, da, 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 output number, set number, bool text, set color, draw clear, draw text, draw map, map to screen. Ooh, yeah, right down at the bottom. This function here, all right, is point in rectangle, X and Y, which is where your uh, button will be. X and Y, and then this is your rectangle X, Y, width and height, all four sections. So we need this whole, this whole function, okay? We need this bit of code here. So you can copy that. It's the first thing we do, and we are gonna paste that here, all right? So you should have three sections. This is your on tick function. 
This is your, I'm pressing the rectangle function. And this is your, we're gonna draw the rectangles and the words uh, functions, all right? So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna say uh, input x equals input dot get number. And now I'm using, for some reason, I had a bunch of uh, I was doing a bunch of other stuff and I have, like I say, I'm still kind of a beginner when it comes to all this sort of stuff. So these numbers that I have set here, the, the one and the four and the three, I think they were just, they were number inputs from something else. Um, but I never changed it and I haven't changed it. So this, this is how I, this is how I set it up. And this way for me, it's like, it's like error, error free, right? So we want input uh, y equals uh, input dot get number and as you can see I'm spelling uh, number with a capital and I'm not spelling the get with a capital that'll be number four I think I had uh, I was doing another example all right let me say is pressed is capital P pressed equals and we'll say uh, input dot get bool. And that's coming in from channel one. All right, so it's gonna get, it's gonna get all this, all this fancy stuff. All right. Now what we want to do is we want to set some variables. So we need two variables, T1 and T2. These are gonna be our two buttons, button one and button two. Touch one and touch two. So we wanna say touch one, so uh, is pressed, uh, this is what I wanted to see was uh, if is pressed, is pressing rectangle then. Yeah, see, this is how they've done it here. Uh, but I'm going to do it a little different than what they have here. Why? I don't know. This is one. This seems to be, a, be basically it says if you're pressing it, change the color. And when you let go of it, change the color. But I have a different way of doing it uh, than what they have here. So that's what we're going to do. So the next bit of code we need is this bit right here. Is pressing rectangle, is pressed, and is point in rectangle. Okay, so then we want that there. Is pressed and is point, but we don't want this is pressing rectangle because we have T1. T1 is our is pressing rectangle, essentially, right? Now this input X and Y, which are coming from our TV, these numbers here are the rectangle that we want to draw on the screen. So in this example, we're one pixel down from the top. We're going to be two pixels over and we're going to go the uh, width of the screen and we're going to be six pixels tall. It's essentially how that goes. So instead of using uh, the W, I'm actually surprised it didn't give me an error because I didn't actually set this variable here. We'll say 32. That's the, uh, we'll say 31. All right, so think about it this way. Um, a one by one monitor is 32 pixels by 32 pixels. All right, a one by two monitor is 32 pixels by 64 pixels. So this is our width and this is our height. We could set that up in a variable here, but I'm just gonna manually put it in and then that's how you can adjust. You can adjust uh, the screen and that. All right, so we're gonna copy this, copy. No, I don't want the T2 section. We're going to copy this. Oh, I actually don't need that. And we're going to paste it there. Oops, I do. All right, and now this one is going to be, see if we're six pixels, we want that one to be eight down. Because this one is going to go, oh, actually, that'll probably be, 
be nine. Then there might be a one pixel gap. Let's say eight. This one's gonna go from two to, to uh, eight. And then this one's gonna go from eight to uh, 14. <clears throat> All right, so those are our two buttons. Button one, button two. One will be a light and one's gonna be something else. All right. So now what we wanna do is we want to say uh, output. So here, here what we do is we set the channel for these, uh, right? These are the these are the channels in, and then these are going to be the channels, channels output. Dot set a bool. and we are going to say channel five, which is going to be T one. And let's copy that. And this is going to be channel six. Now, why is that for T2? Now, why is that? And now, essentially, that's because coming out of the TV, the first couple of channels are your inputs. So I don't know, like, uh, I, I have to look back through my previous uh, videos to see where I, where I got those numbers from. But I was playing around and I was looking at it basically first four numbers I think or three numbers come from the TV the first three channels input X input Y and that so I found that if I just ignore those channels and I just start at channel 5 and work my way up from there it seems to be fine because if I set this say to channel 1 it's going to be reading this at the same time and uh, it might uh, it might give me it might give me an error here hold on I'm try get cash back on every purchase Oh, I can't end that. And up to 5 all right, so, so, commercial, but somebody else is talking in here, so. Uh, all right. All right. So that's that. Those are those two buttons, T1 and T2, all right? Now we're gonna come down here to our on draw section. So what have we done? We said every tick, the television is going to be reading whether we're pressing the triangle or not. And if we are, it's going to output a signal on one of these channels, channel five and channel six. And if we aren't pressing it, it's not gonna do anything. Now what we're gonna work on, on the on draw section, this is where we're gonna draw the actual uh, buttons that are gonna go on the screen, all right? So we could do a couple of things here. Um, I am going to say, I'm going to create a variable for W, the width equals, uh, let's say screen dot get width. All right. And well, I'm going to set that to 31. Now, why is that important? Well, when we're drawing our boxes that our text is going to be in, it's going to be a maximum of 31 pixels wide. So if you're, I find if you're 32 by 32 pixels, you might not see the edge. Um, because there's a bit of a border around the outside of the screen, and that's one pixel. So I guess they're, you're not, they're not quite 32 by 32. They're 31 by 31, right? You're inside the screen by a pixel. So if you then wanted to wrap that in a square, you'd have to make a square that's 30 by 30 pixels, and then you'd be able to see it. <laughs> All right? So then we're going to say screen. Dot. We're going to say set color. And here's where you can choose a color. In my case, I have already a color that I found. I believe this is gray. All right. And then we want to say screen uh, dot draw rectangle. Uh, is this going to be full? No, this isn't going to be a full rectangle. And then what we need to do is we need the dimensions of the rectangle. So the rectangle is going to be one pixel down. It's going to be one pixel in. It's going to be uh, 30 pixels long. Remember, because I was saying 30 by 30. And our height is going to be six pixels tall. All right. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this. Uh, so that will create there. I'll just show you. Let's update this. Let's update this. Update this. Uh, I believe composite goes in. Video out to TV. All right, let's test our example here. 
<clears throat> Turn that on. Look at that. Now we have a blank rectangle. Oh, I clicked on it and it gave me an error. Attempt to compare a number with nil. All right. Now, why did it do that? Uh, that's because there's no output. There's no output on here. Right? Right, because I've told it here to set bool, and here we haven't we have I have haven't actually done anything yet. All right, so what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna change the I so said we're gonna set the color. Now we're gonna set the color of the text that we want inside the rectangle, and I like uh, blue, so I have like a navy blue, which is one three five uh, two zero six. Five, zero. If you're wondering, I have the code beside me on a piece of paper, and that's what I'm reading. I am reading here. All right. <clears throat> then we want screen uh, dot draw text box. And now we need the dimensions of the text box, which is going to be one pixel over by two pixels down, because the uh, we want it to be sort of inside our. And then we're going to use the width variable. I could just set it at 30. It doesn't really matter. Um, six. But we may as well. I could use the, the that W variable in here also. Um, here, we'll do this. We'll set that there. And then we'll do that. This won't matter because it's going to be... Uh, oh, no. This has to be one bigger, I think. Or we won't see it. All right. And then after that... We write our text, okay? <clears throat> oh, I gotta change my keyboard over. All right, we wanna write our text in there, and this will be LGT, which is gonna be light. And then after that, we need uh, two more numbers. So if you go into help, and we go to draw rectangle, you have X, Y, and your width and your height. But we're looking at draw text box. So the zero and the zero, this is your height aligned and this is your vertical aligned. So if you want it to be, it just, it lines it up. It'll line it up there. <laughs> I guess that's the easiest way to explain that. All right, so now we've created one button. So now what I want to do is I want to copy this. I wonder if I need that for every, I don't think I need the, this W variable in every function. I think I can just leave it. Well, I'll include it. All right. And this one is going to be, uh, I guess so this will be a light too. I'll just create two little buttons. Okay. And so now we're six pixels tall. So this needs to be seven pixels. And this needs to be eight pixels, just like that. And this will be light too. Now, the there's one more thing we can do here. Let's 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 do that. That's quite a bit. So we've written our our read function, which is here. It's going to read our input coming from the television, and this is our output, essentially here. Okay, input output. So we're done there. We need to go back into our, we need to add two nodes. These are just going to be regular output nodes, right? Light A, light B. A, and this is going to be light B. All right. Now, while we're in here, you're going to notice, I'm going to do one thing. We need this push to toggle. If you don't add the push to toggle. All right, I really hate commercials. Solid. Is Mike it? Slapper, solid. Slapper, solid. Equipment, Equipment stinky. Good. Um, okay. If you don't add the push to toggle, when you push on the uh, Lua block, when you push on it and you let go, it just counts as a push button. It doesn't count as a toggle button. So when you say push to toggle, this will toggle it on and off. And now you have a toggle switch versus a push. All right, and that 
should be that. So now, let me get two lights. One is going to be red, and one is going to be green. All right, and we want to... Light B will be green, and light A will be red. All right, let's test this out. Give it me a, it's giving me an error. Draw error. Attempt to call nil value. Oh, whoops! I spelled that wrong. As you can see there, spelling is uh, is very important. Where we go? Draw. This should be an X. And that should be an X. And then you can click on here. No error is detected. Perfect. Doesn't mean the code is right. It just means that there's no errors in it. All right, so if we turn on our button, you'll see we have two uh, light one and light two. Attempt to compare number with nil. Uh oh. Uh oh. Channel five, channel six. Let's see what I've done here. One is pressed, is point in a rectangle. Input X, input Y. So I'm trying to find out where it's giving me this error. Maybe it's because those aren't capitalized. These here, X and Y, it could be. See, these are capitalized here, but I didn't capitalize them there. Let's try that. I tend to do that a lot. Yeah, there we go. So as you can see, Turn it off. Yeah. So the first button is a toggle button, and the second button, when you release it, it's just a push button. Neat, huh? So now we're going to do one more thing for these two buttons. So you can say, okay, so now what I want to do is when I press the button, I want to be able to change the color of it. So the way they've done it here is they have this, uh, they do it in one function. It is press rectangle, then screen, da 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 da. So what I, I do it a little differently. Um, I'll, I do it, uh, I say if uh, T1, then, all right, then I'll say screen uh, dot set color. And this is uh, gray, 211, 211, 211. And then what I'll say is uh, screen Oops. Okay. Screen, S-E-R-E-E-N. Screen uh, dot draw uh, rec rectangle full. And then what we need to do is we need this right here. And then we need to say end just like that, because now this is its own function, all right? Uh, and then we can just, over and over again, copy that. We can say if t2, then, and we'll update that. It was a bit quick, that's why I'm not doing this live, I'm doing this in the video, just so people, if you want, you can slow it down, you can pause it, you can take a look at the code. And I'm mostly doing this uh, just, you know, so here we go. So when you press on this one, uh, let me get closer to that here. Draw error. 
Oh yeah. <laughs> There's two, there's two A's. There isn't two A's in draw. There's only one A. But look, it made it, it made it blue. It made it blue. Uh, yeah, all right, all right. Any more errors? No. Okay, so I'll update that. I guess it's a good thing that I'm, that I'm causing errors so you can see that it's not, uh, I'm actually doing it. It's not pre-done. Okay, so now if we press light two, there, you see how it went white? Now you can tell that you're actually pressing on it. Oh, and of course, now why did why did it do that? Why did it why did it do that? Uh, and that's because you see that those two are the same. that so it won't actually erase these it'll just draw a block over top of it so we have this there see how it's nice it's inside the blue same with this one you see how it's nice it's inside that blue it's nice and clean so now we've created two we've created a touch screen I find you can add up to five five buttons per screen is good on these little one by ones. Yeah. So I hope you found this uh, this little example uh, uh, workable. Um, like I say, it's, I'm just a beginner. Uh, I'm learning. And again, as you can see, they're they're a little bit wide off the screen. So alignment, you have to adjust the alignment a little bit. Remember, these are pixels, right? So this could come back one actually. Um, yeah. So the next thing we're gonna do is the map. Um, like I say, I'm just kind of doing this because uh, I, I don't know, I just want people to know how to do it. I really think we should see more of these create your own touch screens and stuff, right? All right. The next thing we're gonna tackle is the map. So we need a couple of things. We need a keypad, all right? This is gonna be our zoom. And then we also need a GPS. Okay, now these give us numbers. So what we need to do is we need to go into our microcontroller. All right, and we need to add three nodes. One, two, and three. Number, number, number. So one is gonna be a zoom, which comes from our keypad. All right, and then our GPS gives us an X coordinate and it gives us a Y coordinate. All right, so we have zoom, X, and Y. Then we're gonna go into our logic and we are gonna take this, this, and this. So for now, we're done with uh, this. Let's move that up. All right, Y, X, zoom, out. We need a Lua block, as we uh, always do, and that's gonna output to our screen. And now what we need is we actually need a composite uh, right number, okay? And we're gonna have three channels. So let's see, uh, we'll say zoom, and then X will be two and Y. Yeah, that'll work. This is gonna be really easy. This is just a couple of lines of code. Okay, composite goes into our Lua block. Video goes out to our monitor. We're gonna go into our Lua block. Uh, I don't need, we don't need this. So let's delete this here. We don't need this one. These notes, I try and get rid of because they count towards our, our character count. All right. So the first thing we want to do is we want to say our variables. So we have zoom, we have x, and we have y, all right? Zoom is going to be uh, input 
dot get bool and it's channel one and we just do the same thing uh, input dot get bool channel two all right and then this one input uh, dot get bool all right and this is going to be channel three Channel one, channel two, channel three, and that's all we need. And then we're gonna go to the draw section here. And all we really need is the two. I guess I shouldn't have, have uh, deleted that. So where's the screen? Yeah, so we'll just use this. Get width and get height, all right? Uh, we will say W equals and H equals, and then what that will do is that will get our, it will determine whether it's a one by one, two by two, three by three, four by four, and it will output the video based on those dimensions. And then when we need screen, we're using the draw map, uh, which is this here, screen.drawmap. X, Y, and zoom. All right. So let's just start with that. So what did we do? We created a little block. We added our three numbers, zoom, X, and Y. And now we're drawing that. All right, we're gonna draw it on a monitor. So we'll update that. And now what we need to do is we need to click the video to our monitor and then we need to connect our numbers so we have our keypad which is our zoom and then we have x which goes to x and y which goes to y and then we're also going to need some electricity for the gps and for the keypad all right then we'll spawn that in oh i probably don't have a power button Yes, I do. Okay, spawn that in. <laughs> now, when we turn the monitor on, yes, as you can see, it is showing a map. And now you can zoom onto that map. Uh, no. Oh, okay. Something's wrong here. Something's wrong here. Zoom is channel one. X is channel two. Y is channel three. I didn't, didn't let me didn't let me zoom. So strange. Oh, is it because it could be because I'm in uh, creative mode that I can't zoom in out on the map? That could be what it is. I do know. I I do know this. Uh, this does work. But why it doesn't want to zoom? I'm not sure. Bounty, the quicker picker up. I'm not sure. This is the same. This is the. This will be the exact same setup that I have uh, in uh, my non-creative. That's weird. All right, let's let's try one thing. Let's try one thing here. Um, I'll spawn a vehicle that already has the same setup. We'll see if it does the same thing. Uh, da, 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 da. Do I have the? I think I do on this one here, actually.
Oh, it zoomed out there. All right, so let's see what I did wrong. Where does that go? Uh -oh. Goes into this one here. So we have zoom, we have X, and we have Y, X. Probably has. Yes. Yeah, channel one, X and Y. Maybe those are back. We're going to our Lua script. One, two, three. <laughs> see, it's the exact same. It's exactly the same. Only, uh, let's see, X is two and Y is three. And maybe maybe I have it reversed. It's X is two and Y is three, right? X is two and Y is three. is two and y is three it's funny hey funny how it worked it worked on one <laughs> it's it it's identical uh get cool zoom I'm not too sure why it doesn't want to, why this one in particular doesn't want to uh, zoom out. Yeah, it doesn't, it does it for some reason, it doesn't want to zoom out. You know what? Uh, let's let's uh, let's let's try this. Let's see. Let's go back and let's spawn this in, and let's just take a look at this code. I just want to see what is the difference. I don't have the capital N on there. That could be it. All right, let me go through and double check my uh, spelling here. Yeah. Capital is very important. Oh, I said get bull. Should be get number. Whoops. That's my fault. number there we go because these are our numbers all right spawn all right there we go now it's in a different location and it's not just in the center of the map hey there we go all right and that's where we are approximately the map will always be centered on the gps and then if you move the gps around it'll follow the map awesome so these are just two examples. Uh, so now what I wanted to do, we'll just kind of dive into the map just a little bit more. And we, if we click on help, you can see here, we set the colors used for rendering the map. So the alpha is, is optional. I'm not too sure. Uh, colors do not apply to the moon map. So you see we have here, ocean, shallows, land, grass, sand, snow, rock, and gravel.
change these to whatever whatever colors you want. Okay, and then you can go one further. And instead of adding the input like we did from the uh, keypad for zoom, you can bring a composite in from the monitor and you can hook the composite up to here. And then you can also make uh, little buttons on the screen. So similar to the way we did the uh, right is pressed and is point in rectangle, you could make small circles, right? Draw a circle. And you can turn those into little buttons or you can make little squares and they can be off to the side. So when you click on that little square, maybe it, that's your zoom, zoom in and zoom out and stuff like that, right? Uh, and then here also you can convert pixel coordinates into world coordinates. Oh, really? World X, Y? Yeah, so we could probably put an area to print this as well. So I'm, at this point in time, I'm not 100%. Uh, I'll have to explore that a little bit more. Um, this is pretty much the extent of my knowledge. Just a real basic, get into some Lua, do some scripting, figure it out, and see what you can do. Um, yeah, and see here you can add these outputs together and stuff. There's all kinds of things you can do with this. Um, also, like if you're running a server, right? So you get your monitor resolution, all this kind of stuff, right? It's, there's so much stuff you can do with the uh, with the Lua to make it easier. It does math, it'll do that, right? So you can make the uh, you know compasses and da 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 da, all that, all that, that kind of stuff. Um, which is one thing I, I would like to do with to make a digital compass. I think that would be really sweet. Figure out how to do that. Uh, yeah. So anyhow, uh, I hope you found this uh, quick video informative uh, and I really hope that you take this with you and you use it to create touch screens on your own builds. Like I say, I started with just making the buttons, making a small screen and adding uh, buttons to it and making the map. And I just played with that. I connected it, played around with it, see what I could do with it. And then I adapted. Uh, and now I'm trying to get a little, I'm trying to expand on that knowledge. So I'll save this as a uh, uh, map, Lua, something like that. And then I'll load. Basically where I'm at was this here. Trying to get this bar. Oops. This is full. All right. Okay, so what it's doing is it's it's reading the value of the air that's in the tank and it's printing that value to the screen in a text box. What I've done is I've taken the value and I've divided it by the pixel width. So when the tank is full, it's exactly the length of the screen. And when the tank is empty, it should be just a little sliver on the edge of the screen. And you can do that for your RPS. You can do that for your throttle. Any of these number, these number inputs. So same thing, we take our number inputs and then we draw them on the screen right here. I'll get into that in, in another one. Um, this here is how you print numbers. The zero is your decimal, right? This is the number, decimal, zero. This is how many places past where you want the decimal. Something like that. Yeah, but I won't get into this uh, today when I start to go over the blue ship. Probably tomorrow or the next day, I'll do a live stream where I, uh, yeah, I focus on the screens and, and start putting them in and that, and then that's what I'll, 
try and develop that into further detail. Alrighty, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all are having a fantastic holiday. Uh, and I hope that you are enjoying Stormworks and the updates that we have been given. There is plenty more, I'm sure, on the way. 2024 looks like it's going to be a really good year for Stormworks. Uh, so far, I've seen a few things. You can actually sell uranium now. Um, they've done a... a uh, let's see here. They've done a few... Uh... One thing I haven't tested is to see if the uranium uh, refinery is still broken. The terminal up here. Oh, wherever that is. Uh, is it this one here? Ooh, look, you can sell oil for a dollar there. Uh, and you can buy it for half a cent there. Well, wow, that's, that's, that's worth it. You just have to go that far. Make 50 cents per unit. Ideas, ideas. Anyways, yes. So they added, uh, I was looking there. There was an island here that's got the... Uh, power plant on it. Where is that? Is it this one here? Oh, now that's strange. I wonder if it's because I've got that. Let's see here. Let's see. Anyways, yeah, that's going to be for, for another one. I was watching somebody else's video, and they have a cell, uh, a cell thing here. And I don't, I don't see it. So it's kind of, kind of curious, actually. Yes, yeah, so thank you so much for watching uh, this short video, kind of an introduction into Lua, how to build a touchscreen, and how to make a map on a monitor. Uh, I will see you in the next one.